Hello again, welcome once again here to ABA with Dr. D. This is Dr. D. I'm so excited to see you all once again. Today we're going to talk about stimulus control and the transfer of stimulus control, which is a really cool topic because uh, one of the main objectives for us in our behavioral program where we're teaching skills is to also transfer the control over to caregivers, uh, to people around the environment, to the environment itself that is natural to the client. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit more about stimulus control and what that is. Okay, so we're going to start with a couple bullet points here so uh, we can understand what that is. So the first bullet point says it has to do with the antecedent in the ABC contingency. So really focusing on the A of the ABC contingency. In the teaching scenario, the A's are the stimuli. Okay, so for example, here the picture of a red truck and another picture of a blue truck. Those are the visual stimuli. Okay, those are quote unquote the antecedents. Okay, the behavior technician may say point to red which is the vocal stimulus, okay? So it doesn't just have to be visual, it can also be a vocal stimulus. And then the behavior is the client's response. So in this example, the client points to the red truck. So what happens after that, okay? So what happens after the client points to the red truck? And this is where we're gonna focus a little bit more on how that stimulus control uh, process occurs. So go on to the next slide. It says that it has to do, once again, with the antecedent and the ABC contingency. Here the consequence, right? The consequence, uh, behavior technician provides a client with reinforcement, such as great job pointing to the correct picture, plus gives a child a high five. If those are the reinforcers for the client, though those actually increase behavior. Once again, reinforcers will be different for each client you work with. Okay, over time, these antecedent variables become discriminant to stimulus. We call these SDs, our famous SDs that you hear all the time in the field. Those are what they are, basically those antecedent variables, that A from the ABC contingency. Here the client once again learns to discriminate between pictures of a red and blue truck and selects a red truck when instructed to do so once again because of the consequence, the reinforcement, okay? Very important. Okay, so stimulus control transfer procedures, which is really the focus of this video, is modifying the antecedents so that the same response occurs in the presence of a new, different instruction. So for example, pointing to a red truck in a parking lot. Okay, that really makes sense because once again, what good is it in teaching a child to respond to the red truck in a chair, in a table, in a room? It's not going to help very much, right? So at the end of the day, the goal is to try to transfer the control over to the natural environment, to the environment that the client comes in contact with on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, and this is an example of that. We want our child to go into the environment and they see a red truck, they're going to point and say red truck, or they're going to just, you say, hey, where's the red truck? And they're going to point at it at a parking lot, okay? So we might see this when we're teaching caregivers to implement our protocols, okay? We want the client to engage in the same behavior with the clinical team as with the parents, okay? And we're gonna watch a video, by the way, of that. But this right here, this last bullet point is really important because this, once again, is the crucial and the main thing that we wanna focus on at some point within our behavioral program. All ABA programs require for us to transfer control to parents. Okay, and parents need to know that too, by the way, parent, yeah, I have parents also in the audience that parents, this is a very important part of the program. This is where the, uh, now the instructor, the behavior technician is giving you now that control, transferring over that control to you so that you can be able to manage and uh, basically generalize and maintain these, these uh, particular skills with your, with your child. Okay. I think we have one more uh, slide here. So it says your supervisor is responsible for creating an appropriate training plan for your client's caregivers. Okay, very true. Typically it involves teaching your client, um, primary caregivers, how to implement the same behavior change strategies that you have been trained to use with the client. For caregiver training, we teach using behavior skills training or BST. By the way, we have a really cool presentation on BST in this particular channel. I will do another video on that because that is a very, very key type of um, you know treatment package we use in our field, the BST model. Okay, so we're gonna get into the video so we can break it down together. All right, so uh, here's a video. Uh, this is uh, video 100, by the way, in our series of uh, video models we have available for you. This is transfer stimulus control with people. Okay, so here the focus that we're gonna have is once again that I am the behavior technician. Uh, the child here is my client. I am delivering an instruction and I'm basically writing a program, a skill acquisition program. What I am going to do now is that I'm going to have my uh, parent, which is uh, an individual in the back, that's Juan, by the way, uh, he will come over and he's going to now also start implementing the same program. So I want you to take a very close look at how that trans transition occurs because this is very much what happens in the field, right? We want to have the parents involved, we want to get the, the parents going, but we also want to model for them, right? Because 
if the parent has very minimal understanding or doesn't have a skill yet, that's where our skills as a behavior technician or as a behavior specialist will come into play. So this is a video of that. And once again, let's take a look. Okay, so here is an example. Once again, sorry to pause it really quick. I'm delivering the instruction of do this, right? Which is a you know imitation program. So what you're gonna notice here is the child's gonna respond. All right, great job. And I said, great job, my friend. Okay, high five. Awesome. Okay. Now here comes the next part, which is gonna be the part where the dad is gonna come in. All right, that's true. Okay. All right, so dad delivers the same exact instruction. Dad delivers the same kind of praise. And guess what now? We have a situation here where we're transferring that control over to the dad, to the parent, right? To the caregiver. Okay, that really is, once again, the focus of our program, okay? And I said one more, by the way. I want him to get another trial in to get more opportunities to practice this. And I said, great job, guys. Awesome. Once again, you as a behavior technician, you as a behavior specialist, supervisor, you're so important in this process of transferring that control because if you're reinforcing, you're motivating the parent to get involved with that, that helps, okay? So once again, I implemented this whole aspect of model. I you know, implemented the whole aspect of providing some feedback at the end, which is more than a social praise, basically letting them, the parent know that he did a phenomenal job with this particular program. And I think that's... Uh, Okay, I said good stuff, so I'll go back into the program. But yeah, this is once again a really quick example, really short video, 27 seconds. If you guys want to take a look at it by itself, the video is available for you. Once again, it's video 100, Transfer Stillness Control with People. Um, there's this lecture now available for you, so if you want to make that combo of doing the didactic or conceptual side of what we're trying to teach here, uh, it's available for you. Um, another video for you guys. Once again, thank you so much, all of you guys, for subscribing out there. And for those that haven't, make sure to subscribe. We really need your support. And uh, take care now. Have a good one.